Hey everyone, I'm okay, so today we're going to be doing this look, which is a bronzed, glowing, gorgeous, sexy, just been skiing, just been to the, I don't know, well nowhere really lately, but we're going to do a bronze look, and this is the look that we're doing. Now we're going to be going through it in stages, from levels of bronzeness right the way up to this bronze, which probably isn't that bronze compared to some of the tutorials, but it's pretty bronze to me. So let's make a start on how to get a glowing bronze look using just a couple of products. Let's get started. Okay, so let's make a start. So I'm gonna just zoom in a little bit and lower my chair. Okay, so we're gonna use a couple of products. We're gonna use a bronzer. Now you can pick any bronzer that you choose. I'm personally gonna use this one by Bare Minerals. Now, this is, what is this one? Photan, I know what it is because it's my favorite. Photan by Bare Minerals. I'm also gonna use NARS Exhibit A and two brushes. So let's make a start. So the first thing I'm gonna do is apply some bronzer. Now, we wanna kinda of do this in stages because we don't want to start off too harsh to begin with because otherwise we have nowhere to go. Now my skin is quite pale, but I do tan naturally in the sun. I do burn, but I do tan. I'm just gonna sort these ears out because they are just standing out like a sore thumb. Okay, so that's a bit better. So we're gonna start on the neck. Now I like to start on the neck and I'm purposely wearing this color because white isn't gonna work. So I'm gonna start on the neck and I'm gonna to start to bronze up this area because you can't have a bronzed face and a pale neck. And this is the problem with tanning in general is that fake tans and all that kind of stuff is you gotta have it all over because if it isn't all over, it doesn't look right. Now, as I mentioned in another video, I'm not a fan of fake tans. And I'd love to know what your opinion is in the comment section in a second when I talk about things. So I've taken my neck up a good shade or two. So I'm gonna start on the forehead. Now, if you really wanna look tanned, this area here is where you're gonna look the most tan. It's gonna, even if your face isn't that tanned, if you tan this area, it's gonna look really quite tanned. So I'm gonna show you that in a second. So I'm gonna take my big brush and I'm just gonna start with a light wash, not all over, on the temple area, and just knocking it like this in a diagonal motion. So this is, and the bridge of the nose, this is where we're just gonna begin to look like we've, so you can see this color already just by doing that. And we didn't use hardly any product, but you can see that you've, we built up color already. Now I'm gonna go across my chin. Okay and of course, dusting on the ears. Now we're gonna build this up, but before we do, we're just gonna work into the hairline here. And I'm just gonna work it in to the hairline because when the sun hits us, it hits us on our highest planes. So cheekbones, bridge of the nose, right up here. And this gives you a much more tanned look when you get this area quite bronzed. So, Generally speaking, I find tans, and um, I don't mean, because a real tan tends to look very beautiful, but in general, tans are quite aging to the skin. Now, a lot of you kind of will go, yeah, but when I get a tan or when my husband gets a tan, he looks amazing. The purpose of makeup is that it will make your eyes look whiter or bigger and your teeth look whiter. So we use lipstick, it makes our teeth look whiter. We use mascara and eyeshadow and it can make our eyes look bigger and whiter. That's what a tan does naturally. So oftentimes when you see our partners or husbands and they have a real tan, they look more attractive because their teeth are whiter and their eyes are whiter and appear bigger and brighter. But we have makeup to do that. So when we have a real tan or even worse, a fake tan, and then we put more stuff on it, it can look, in my opinion, it can look really, really aging. So that's why I've never been a fan of wanting to self tan or wanting to use excessive amounts of bronzer on people because I just find it quite, I just think it's an aging look. But let me know what you think in the comments. So I'm gonna take NARS Exhibit A 
And I'm now going to hit this right on the high points of where the sun would hit us naturally because a real tan has burned to it. There is red in a real tan. So I'm going to just hit these high points with this red color first before we go in and apply any more tan. So I just want to really make sure that these areas and right here as well can look really quite nice. It kind of just pulls everything together as does the tip of the chin. I have no idea if I just spat or if something fell out. If I did, I apologize. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go in for a second pass now. And when you are tanning yourself up to a different level where it's just much darker than you really are, you kind of also wanna be um, careful that you want it to look real. You do wanna look like you've been outside, but you don't wanna look offensive or just like it's just too much. And it's so easy to go overboard. So we're gonna start now back on the neck and I've really loaded up this brush. Now the Photan by Bare Minerals is a really nice one because it is quite red based, but you get nothing in it. You get nothing. You, you pay 20 quid for 1.5 grams of product. So basically a sneeze. It's outrageous, but it's a great product. So I'm just gonna start right here on the neck and I'm literally shoe shining it onto the neck because this is where we can, oh, we can start to build up some of this color. And you can see that you've got that much deeper. And you can see I've got to go into all these bloody areas. Oh, it's a nightmare. Nightmare, I don't know why you lot bother. I certainly like being my skin color, but I do, when you know when you see somebody and they're really tan, and I do think, as well. And then I try a fake tanner and I'm like, I hate it and wash it off instantly. Okay. Move this up a bit so it doesn't look like I've missed a bit. Okay. So now I'm just going to go right back in right on the higher points first to just hit those points. And you can see that I'm kind of leaving out this middle bit and I'm going to go back to it in a second. And now again, just shoe shining it over the face, just gonna pour a tiny bit of this, you know, liquid gold into here. I mean, you do need a little bit, so it's gonna last, but 1.5 grams. Yeah, I'm a big Bare Minerals fan. I love mineral makeup, but that's a shocking amount, it's nothing. Okay, so there we go again. Just gonna dust it, dust it on the high points. Try not to forget my white chin. Now, whatever's kind of left on this brush, now I'm just going to just dust it lightly across the lighter points of the face, but just lightly, not too much, because you want there to be some dimension to the skin. You want there to be something going on. So we're going to take back our blusher brush and a tiny bit of NARS Exhibit A, and it is the one blusher that truly suits anybody because it looks amazing on all skin tones. And now with a really light hand, I'm just gonna just very gently go, go in at the hairline area here where I would naturally burn. Bridge of the nose, just a kind of, just a smatter on the um, cheekbone areas. You know, just, and I quite like to do it kind of underneath the eye as well. So I just think that that looks really quite, quite yummy and bronzy. And then we're just gonna take this brush and just gonna dust over it. See, it's glorious. It's an absolute palaver, but it's, it's completely glorious. You feel summery and you feel heavenly, but your clothes look like shit because you've got makeup all over them. You can't wear anything white. And of course, you've got a really white arm. <laughs> So it's just insane, but it does look quite nice. I've got to be honest, it does make you feel a bit better, but it's just too much trouble for me. Just going to go a little bit again. Just want to just caress this area here. I'm a really big fan of quite a bit of red on the bridge of the nose because I think it just really looks like you've been outside. And what we'll do 
is we'll curl the lashes and just put a bit of colour in them, just so that they open them up a little bit. I've forgotten these white ears. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, stunning, absolutely stunning, splendid, splendid. There you go. So let's have a look. We've bronzed our skin up. We've used enough red so that it does look like we've been outside, that we haven't just kind of come off the rack, so to speak. But it looks really nice, except there's major problems. So let's just uh, zoom out. So we've got really white arms, so I've not tanned my arms at all. So they're a completely different colour to my face. But you do look like you have that kind of um, beachy feel. You do feel better and it does look better. Now, in my personal opinion, the worst thing I could do now is do heavy eye makeup or a strong lip. I just kind of think that just very little on this kind of look just looks so beautiful. Slick back hair, whatever it is, it's just something so simplistic that you then take on this kind of very youthful look. And I think when you start to add lots and lots of products to overly bronzed skin, it, it then becomes quite aging and quite um, very made up very easily because there's so many layers. Even if it's a fake tan, it's still a fake layer of something on the skin and then you're darkening it. And I don't know, let me know. I'd love to know what you think of whether you share my thoughts on fake tans or whether you think that they're the best thing since sliced bread and that is something that you just adore. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Um, on it because they don't absolutely should not match mine. They should be yours and I'd love to hear them. But I do think this is a cool look. It is fresh. It is a good look. I had no foundation on to begin with apart from my ears. Um, but I like it. It does look nice, but I just can't be doing with it all over here. And then what do I do with my arms? Because they're quite white compared to my face. <laughs> But I guess it does make your eyes look brighter and whiter. Certainly, does it make the teeth look lighter? Whiter? Of course it does. They're not even real. Of course they're going to look white. They're not even real teeth. But anyway, let me know what you think. All that information down there, please. And I'll see you all soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Oh, and let me know what your favourite fake, fake tanner is, if you really like one. And what your favourite bronzer is. You know what mine is, but <sighs> who pays that? I mean, I did, but mental, mental. See you next time. Bye-bye.